The Polestar 2 is not like other non-Tesla EVs, it's different. While other car companies have targeted the economical market, this Volvo brand is targeting the luxury market where Tesla has been untouchable. But Polestar might just give them a run for their money. Just looking at the specs of this car, you can tell it's going to be a direct competitor to the Model 3. The Polestar 2 gives you 275 miles of range, dual motor all-wheel drive, and 0-62 to 62 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds. And you get all of this for around $63,000. Compare that to the Model 3 in a similar configuration, and that'll run you around $56,000, but with 310 miles of rated range, as well as autopilot. So the Model 3 still seems like a better deal here. As for Polestar's self-driving features, they are using Volvo's existing IntelliSafe system, which is quite similar to Autopilot. This gives you a lot of features like adaptive cruise control, collision avoidance, and a bunch of other safety features that will make driving this car a lot less stressful. Obviously, the car will try to avoid accidents using this IntelliSafe system, but in the case of an accident, this car will actually tighten up the seatbelts to protect passengers from impact. They've also designed seats that protect you from whiplash and put airbags in a bunch of strategic places, all with the goal of being the safest car on the road. Now let's talk about the interior, most notably the 12.3 inch touchscreen in the middle. Polestar teamed up with Google and will use Android to power the touchscreen that controls the car. This means Google Maps, Google Assistant, and even the Google Play Store which is awesome because Google probably has the best assistant on the market right now. And with the ability to download Google Apps, you can install any supported app to that touchscreen and use it in your car. Previously, updating the infotainment system in the car was usually the responsibility of the manufacturer, but using Google's operating system here, it is now up to the driver. You're able to install apps and make the car do whatever you'd like it to do. Now moving into the actual design of this interior, and it's clear they're definitely going for the luxury market here. It's almost got a BMW meets Tesla type vibe on the inside, and I'm really a fan of that. I think Tesla takes it a bit too far sometimes with how much their software does, and I think Polestar's got a happy medium here with actual buttons and switches versus using the touchscreen for every single feature. It's got just enough controls and physical buttons to make a non-EV driver feel right at home. As for the exterior design, I'm a big fan of this as well. It is futuristic enough that it's going to attract some people that want a car that looks like that, but also still looks very traditional and will attract people that want that kind of look. So if you want this car, you can go down in the description below. I'll have a link to their website. You can configure the whole car, put down a $1,000 deposit, and have the car delivered in July of 2020 if it's on time. If you don't want to pay the full price of the car, Polestar is also launching a subscription service. So you'll pay a monthly fee, and that will cover not only driving the car, but also maintenance as well as some other services. This is a great idea as electric cars are currently seen as more of a tech product than an actual vehicle. They're more of a luxury and not just a form of transportation. So charging a monthly fee to drive a car will definitely appeal to consumers as that's something they're doing with their cell phones, something else that they use every single day. So what are your thoughts on the Polestar 2? Do you think it'll sell? Is it able to compete with the overwhelming popularity of the Model 3? I wanna hear what you're thinking, so definitely leave me a comment below with your thoughts on the vehicle. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button below. And also make sure you're subscribed. I put out new EV videos every single week, so make sure you don't miss those. And I will catch you guys in the next video.